Hey guys, Mark from Emulators for PC here, and today I got another tutorial for you guys. Uh, this time I will teach you how to get PS3 games for RPCS3. Again, I cannot give you the link in the description, I might get in trouble, so uh, I'll just show you on screen. Uh, pause the video if you need to. Now, if you have just downloaded the emulator and did nothing else, this video will also teach you how to correctly get your RPCS3 working by using a PS3 firmware update on the official PlayStation website. But first, let's download a game. Go under Packages, I will download Borderlands 2 for demonstration purposes. Uh, I do want to point out that this website does not have all the games, uh, but if you are desperate, you can just look up you know, the game and then type PKG, which is the file you want. Now simply download the game you want, make sure you download the RAP file or RAP, um, it's a very small file, and then you just download the PKG. So we are now going to download the PlayStation 3's firmware updates. Uh, if you have already done this with the emulator, I suggest you follow these easy steps. If you have already done this process, you can skip to the timestamp I got right here. So now, go to the link I gave you in the description down below. You should see this on your screen, then scroll down until you see the download button, and click on that, and it should be downloading. After your PS3 firmware update is done and your game, open up RPCS3, hover your mouse to the file section, click on install firmware, and find the file that you have just downloaded. It might take a few minutes, but it shouldn't be that long. Once that is done, you will want to go to your wrap file and drag this file onto the RPCS3 window. Very instantaneous. Uh, now all you have to do is to install the PKG, hover to file, and select install PKG. Find the file you are looking for and let it download. And now you are done with everything. You can now delete the files you have downloaded. If you want the best settings, here it is. Uh, both decoders are LLVM recompilers, Vulkan is on, no additional settings, and so on. You can just copy it down what I have on screen. But that will be it for today's video. If this helped you out, like this video. It really lets me know how well I am doing. And if you want to stay up to date on more tutorials and emulation coverage, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, I will love you with all my heart if you do that. Uh, see you guys in the next video.